What's going on everyone? My name is Joshua Kostelik and welcome to Hotel Room Talks. I do a lot of cold calling and I've started to do cold calling videos for my office at home, but a lot of my schedule revolves around me having to travel around Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So I began brainstorming and thinking about what I could post and what I could record while I'm out of town. And eventually my goal is to be to strap a GoPro to my chest and actually show my in-person meetings that I've cultivated from my cold calls. That way you guys can kind of see how cold calls can lead to in-person meetings and talking with high C-level employees at companies, presidents of multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar companies. And I think the thing that I think the thing that is so unattractive about cold calling right now in, in today's society is it's so awkward and people can't get past that. I think we've lost a real important social skill in talking to people. So many people, they see the attractiveness of hiding behind a screen and a keyboard and typing out emails and there's, there's, there's great value in emails, but if that's your only source of prospecting, I think you're going to be hurting. Um, you really need to focus on and, and leverage the in-person and the face-to-face -face relationships, the voice relationships of having those, those conversations over the phone. I think they're very important in today's society, especially someone like me, right? I'm 26 years old, and a lot of the people that I'm talking to are older people, 40s plus. These people that are 40s plus, right? Their generation was not raised on email and texting and phone calls. Um, they were raised in face-to-face -face handshake relationships. And so that's what's really important is remembering who you're talking to. But that's not what I w was wanting to talk about today. Um, the w thing I wanted to talk about the most was what I hate about social media and how I, th I think it plays into today's society. I think that social media today is so poisonous for people's relationships and people's business. Um, I think that instant gratification has become something that everyone or wants to achieve. Instant gratification is something that everyone desires. Everyone wants instant gratification. Everyone wants pleasure now rather than delaying the results and seeing pleasure in the future, right? And that's just something that social media shows you. It shows you people off on their trips to Hawaii. It shows you people off and going to Europe and having all of these supercars and big houses by the age of 25. And most of these people are renting things and they're manipulating their audience. And I think that's another big thing is, is the manipulation that goes behind social media to make people like us, I'm an average person, making the average person hate what they have and really envy what other people have. And it's not healthy. Which leads me to my, my third point, which is comparison. I think that comparison is the, the killer of all joy, right? I have been in stages of my life where I've been extremely happy. And I log on to social media and I see so-and-so's got X amount of money, and so-and-so's got this car, so-and-so's got this house. I drive a 2005 Honda Accord. My Honda Accord has 260,000 miles on that thing, and it's well used, but it gets me from point A to point B, right? And it's what's in my budget, and that's something that's not talked about enough today, is being authentic, being your authentic self, okay? And that's something that I really wanted to push was my, I wanted my videos to be completely authentic, be my complete authentic self. Something that my GM at my company, uh, I think it was after the, the quarter one of this year, he sent me down in a meeting and I was doing pretty well for, you know, where I am in, in my sales life um, or my, my career. And he asked me, he said, what do you think about yourself is something that people or that you use to, to leverage to, you know, do well and so far in sales? 
And he's like, I really just want you to be able to focus on what's your strong attributes that help you in your, your career. And what I could come up with was empathy and authenticity. I really try to show that my I really try to show my, my prospects and my customers that I care about their business and I care about where they're going and I don't want to just sell them something just to sell them something and make a commission check. That's not what sales is or should be it's not what sales should be about. Sales should be about helping people, right? And part of your job as a salesperson is to help someone move forward in the direction that they are timid to move forward in because of a high sticker price. You know, m the, most of my sales are anywhere from $40,000 to $100,000, right? For a smaller business, $40,000 is a pretty intimidating amount of money. And for these larger businesses, it's not as intimidating, but they have more people to push up the chain and more people have to sign off on it. And when you can make that as easy as possible and show them you're being authentic and you care about their business, it makes it that much easier, that much faster. And I think there's a lack of integrity in today's society, especially on social media, where it's not cool to be truthful. It's not cool to care about people. It's not, tr it's not cool to um, have empathy and be your, be your true authentic self. What's cool is scamming people. What's cool is getting high clicks. People will do anything for clicks nowadays. It's disgusting. And, and what's cool is lying to manipu manipulate your audience. Like I talked about earlier, half these people that are on social media that post their big houses and their big car or their fancy cars and you know all of this stuff, it, a lot of them aren't even theirs. They're rentals, they're, you know, leasing things that way they can post post it on social media to manipulate their audience into thinking that they're somebody that they're not and so that's all i really had for this hotel talk i really just wanted to encourage you guys uh, be your true authentic self and, and show empathy show people that you really care and in the long run the ethical salesman will 100 percent always win and so be ethical be empathetic and show authenticity in your meetings and in your conversations with these you know, people at, at companies. And I guarantee that they will see that and they can see you right through a sleazeball. Um, keep doing the good habits, keep implementing your strong habits. And over a long period of time, even though there might not be instant gratification, the delayed gratification will be worth it.